welcome back everybody to another episode of Sundays with Sally. As you guys can tell, we are not in the studio. We are out in the shop this week and we are discussing the Vesper Cortex from Garmin and their latest software update. So before we get into that though, I gotta do my spiel guys. Make sure to give us a like, follow, subscribe, share on YouTube and Instagram and hit the notification button to be alerted every time we drop a new video because we got a whole lot of content coming out for you guys. So that's out of the way. Let's dig into this guys. Now a lot of you guys are probably already familiar with the Vesper Cortex. The Vesper brand was purchased in whole by Garmin and this is now a Garmin VHF product. This is a really, really great product. We've covered it on other episodes of Sundays with Sally about everything this can do with being a 12 and 24 volt, being AIS, having anchor monitoring, and having all those things. But if we're being honest, the software has always been a little clunky on the user interface side for the end user. This new software update that we're going to show you guys They've garmonized it. They've made everything a little bit easier to understand, a little bit easier to use, kind of fits in more with the Garmin universe of things. So let's go ahead and show you guys what all is involved with doing the software update. Now, before we get too deep into it, guys, you do need to understand this is not a quick software update. I'm going to have a timer running as we do the software update. But the last one I did was about a 15 to 20 minute start to finish process because this is a big software update. So where do we begin with this, guys? We're going to get on your device and you are going to download the Cortex Onboard app. That app looks just like that right there for you guys. I don't know if you can pick that up on the screen or not, but that is the Onboard app. You go into that and it is going to ask you to scan your QR code, enter it manually, or have the demo mode. Well, entering it manually is a bit problem. Is it's a lot of letters and numbers and chance to mix it up. So if you've had it, your install done properly, you have your owner's manual with the book and there's an additional sticker. Hopefully they put it on the black box for you. That's what we've got here. So I'm gonna go ahead and tell this thing, yes, let's scan that QR code. So we come in here, boom. We're going to join that group as I go ahead and get this console shut. And now it's going to try to connect there for us. And it's going to take a second, obviously, to go ahead and make that initial connection. So we're going to go ahead and let that kind of do its thing here. All right. So as we are connected here, we're going to get a pop-up if you have not done a transponder update or anything. But what you're also going to get is it's going to show you guys that there is an update available. And yes, that's what we want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and get this other camera rolling here as we dial this all in for you guys. Let's see if we can get this quite right. All right, so like I said, we've got our confirm for software update. Now we're going to say, yes, we want to go ahead and update that software. So now we're going to start the stopwatch here. I'll let the old time lapse rip and you guys are going to see just how long this takes now something to notice as we get ready to roll into this time lapse here the phone device whatever it is you're using to update your cortex unit you need to leave that device on there you can't go away you can't go play sim city or mario kart or answer your emails or do whatever you need to leave that on and let this thing do its update and like i said this one's going to take some time we're going to have the uh clock going there and we will be back after this whole software update is done and we'll show you guys some of the nice new features that have been integrated into this so let's roll on into the old time lapse Guys, so there you have it. It took a little over 27 minutes, I think, to go ahead and get that full software package downloaded from my device 
into the Cortex black box and then on to the handset as well. So now the next thing we can go ahead and do is I go ahead and get this thing all slewed up here uh, video wise and kind of show you what a little of that interface looks like that you're going to be upgrading to. So as we go ahead and make the edit guys got to kind of bear with me on this one. You can see we've kind of Garmonized it for lack of a better word here. We've made things a little bit easier to use. We now have our time up here We can change that over obviously to our local time We have our menu that's up on the top if we press on that and it's the same with the hamburger button right down there We now have our menu screen here. You see gone across the top is our settings Our settings have now been pushed down to the bottom. I think it's a little easier to find actually right there we can go back to our channel 16. This now also is going to give us the ability to listen to any of the previous channels. So you don't want to miss something. Maybe somebody was talking on channel 68, but you were on uh, 72 talking to somebody. You can come back and listen. Now, we don't have anything saved right here, but if we hit activity, you're going to see it's going to come up there and show us everything that's been going on. If we have more channels, we'll be able to show you. But obviously, we are in the shed here. So then if I go back to our menu, you know, our directory is still the same. And uh, let's see what other items do we have there. Our Anchor Watch, which is absolutely phenomenal. I think that's probably one of the best features of the Vesper Cortex. That is still there and still functional. You guys might notice, actually, that this is on a black screen now. So if we come over here and we go into our settings, you see there's a night mode. So we go ahead, we turn it, that flips it back to the white screen. We can also go ahead and we can adjust our brightness and all those kind of things as well. So we can do an auto brightness feature so that it will automatically dim down and go up and down with the light as well. So that's a really handy feature. So that's it. That is the Vesper Cortex from Garmin and their software update. I know these videos seem to be really popular as you guys are trying to do this stuff and you want to see what's involved. So hopefully you found this informative. You understand that the time constraints that you're going to need to do this. And as always, make sure to give us a like, follow, subscribe, share on YouTube and Instagram and Facebook at Navtronics to stay up to date and in the know. And uh, I don't know what we've got in store for next week, but we've got a lot of cool stuff coming down the pipe and you're going to want to make sure to give a subscribe on YouTube to follow along, guys. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next week. Peace.